price action that actually works on live trading? So in this video, I will be going over super indicator combination developed by my subscriber, James Smith. This strategy has a lot of amazing potential if done right, as I will be doing a live trading back test 200 times to find out how profitable this strategy tends to be on the long run. I will be combining two super indicators. This strategy would also work on stocks and cryptocurrency as price action works on different commodities. And also, we can use it as a day trading opportunity although the author made note of it working best as a scalping strategy. So make sure you stick to the end to fully understand how the strategy works. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe as it motivates us in the hunt for the holy grail. Without further ado, let's dive into it. Okay guys, so for today's strategy, we are looking at the United States dollar Japanese yen. And we are on the 5 minutes time frame. Now watch closely as we reveal super indicator combination that really works like magic and thanks to James Smith for the hard work. This strategy makes use of two super indicators as they give out signals when there is potential opportunity present in the market. According to James, we will be using momentum based indicator and price action to determine our trade entries. And for the first indicator, go ahead and bring up the indicator panel. I want you to search for the CM price action bars by Chris Moody. This indicator makes use of different candlestick patterns that really work. And for the second indicator, go ahead and search for the ADX and DI by by Kabu Yaji. Now we are set with the indicator. Let's quickly go ahead and adjust the settings as we won't be making use of these indicators like this. For this ADX, we will be using just the ADX moving average as it calculates the strength of a trend in the market. Go ahead and double click on the indicator. On the style, I want you to untick the DI plus and DI minus. Now change the ADX to white, also change the level to white, as well as changing it to a straight line. When you are done, head over to the input, I want you to change the TH to 10. And that will be all for this indicator. Go ahead and click on the OK button to fully apply the setting. Now for the price action, we can see we have nothing on the chart because by default, nothing is applied on the chart. Now let's adjust the settings to see what we really need to use for the strategy. Click on the indicator and bring up the settings. On the style, we won't be touching any settings. Head over to the inputs. We can see we have different candlestick patterns available. But for this video, we only need the shaved bars, as these a trend bar that is all body and has no tails. So this option will help us identify when we have shaved bars in the market. Then also, in order to clearly see when the indicator shows our candlestick patterns, I want you to click on this last option that says checkbox to turn bars gray. And that would be all for this indicator. Now go ahead and click on the OK button to fully apply the setting to our chart. Okay guys, let me quickly explain what these indicators do and how they work on charts. Now for the ADX, it is a trend based indicator as it identifies when a trend is strong and when it is weak. We will be using it to determine when a new trend is rising as those are the best possible time to enter a trade. And for the price action, the green bar shows an increased bullish trend pressure in the market, while when we see a purple bar, it identifies when we have a bearish trend pressure in the market. Now let me go ahead and change these to normal green and red candlestick bar to represent the buy and sell bar we all know, so that newbies who just started out trading could easily know what to look for. Now bring up the setting panel, head over to the style, these are the settings we would be changing. Change the bar to red, as well as changing the one below it to green. Click on the OK button when you are done. I hope it looks better this way. The red for bearish trend and green for bullish trend. Now the concept behind this strategy is that we would want to enter trade when there is a new trend pressure arising in the market. So make sure you watch this video to the very end to fully understand how the strategy really work as one mistake could ruin you trading. Okay guys, for a buy entry to be valid, we first need to see the ADX close below the 10 band level as our first confirmation. 
Then we would wait till we see a green candlestick present before we go ahead to place a buy stop order at the peak of the trigger candlestick. As we can see here, we got the ADX close below the 10 band level as the first confirmation. Then we had to wait till we got our green candlestick at this point. We would be placing a buy stop order at the peak of this trigger candlestick. Our stop loss is at the recent swing low, while we set our take profit levels at 1.8 times the risk. And we can see it was a successful trade. Please note that we only trail our entry from the point we got our ADX close below the 10 band level. As we can see that this buy candlestick is not valid as it happened before we got the cross below the 10 band level as we want when there is minimum available trend in the market before we open trade. Please also note that we only take trade at the next available candlestick after our ADX has been confirmed. So we see here that we got the ADX below the 10 band line. And we had to wait till we got the green candlestick as that's our valid entry point showing the direction the market is going to move. As the red candlestick is invalid, and also note that we only take trade once on the next available candlestick when we get our confirmed ADX condition. So we will go ahead and place the buy stop order at the peak of this candlestick. Stop loss and take profit levels remain the same. And we see it was a successful trade. Exactly the opposite is true for a short trade. For a sell entry to be valid, we first need to see the ADX close below the 10 band level as our first confirmation. Then we would wait till we see a red candlestick present before we go ahead to place a sell stop order at the bottom of the trigger candlestick. As we can see here that we got the ADX close below the 10 band level as the first confirmation. Then we had to wait till we got our red candlestick at this point. So we would be placing a sell stop order at the bottom of this trigger candlestick. Our stop loss is at the recent swing high, while we set our take profit levels at 1.8 times the risk. And we can see it was a successful trade. Please always note that we only trail our entry from the point we got our ADX close below the 10 band level as we want when there is minimum available trend in the market before we open trade. Let's go over some few more examples to make you better understand this strategy and at the end we will be back testing our strategy. So here is a buy trade we would have taken. So we can see that the market slowed down on trend momentum as identified by our ADX indicator. As we can see the ADX closing below the 10 band level. We then had to wait till we got this green candlestick from the price action bar. We would go on and place a buy stop order at the peak of this trigger candlestick. Our stop loss at the recent swing low while take profit levels is at 1.8 times the risk. And we see it was successful. Okay guys. I hope you pretty much understood the strategy. Let's now go ahead and back test the strategy as we would be ranking them on the spreadsheet to compare it with the previous strategies posted on this channel. Okay guys, so we just completed the back test for this strategy. But before we talk on the result, let me quickly give out an important info based on this strategy. James, your strategy is good, but the indicator combination seems not to tally with each other. I prefer using an oscillator rather than the price action indicator in combination with the ADX condition as your strategy states. Your method on the ADX is okay and I love that, but you need a more accurate reading that does not give out a lot of signals like the price action indicator. The price action on the other hand is a great tool also, but there are other type of strategy it would work best on. 
So traders, if you find any other way to improve the strategy to work pretty well, do well to leave on the comment section, as other traders would love to try it out. Okay traders, let's now jump right into the result. After we back tested the result 200 times, we had a win rate of 39%. Having 179 and lost 121 trades, which made 21% return on investment, and I found those trade setups within 3 months. The strategy has potentials for improvement if proper indicators were applied. The profit factor for the strategy is also not amazing as we had 3 wins in a row against 7 losses in a row. So expect to get some level of drawdown when trading. I think we have covered all we have to say for this strategy. Don't forget to check out the link on the spreadsheet as we have a lot of other strategies tested on this channel that would definitely make you a profitable trader. And if you have any questions, drop them on the comment section and we would respond to it as soon as possible. Okay guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.